find for the error. But let's be clear about what's really going on here, Madam Deputy Speaker. The British people deserve to know which party is serious about stopping the invasion on our southern coast and which party is not. Some 40,000 people have arrived on the south coast this year alone. The responsibility for the fight back against this disease rests on all of us. This is equally true when it comes to maintaining the rules and social distancing. Everybody is talking and laughing and rolling their eyes about the decision by the former Health Secretary Matt Hancock to take a break from his political job and go on the reality TV show I'm a Celebrity. Thank you, Mr Speaker. His Home Secretary says the asylum system is broken. Who broke it? <laughs> the Right Honourable Gentleman, he voted against the Nationality and Borders Bill. He said he, he, said he would scrap the Rwanda partnership. He opposed the ending of free movement of people. Four Prime Ministers in five years, and it's the same old, same old. Yeah. He stands there and tries to pass the blame. Yeah. If the asylum system is broken, and his lot have been in power for 12 years, yeah. how can it be anyone's fault but theirs? Yeah. They are forcing cuts down our throats. They're forcing changes to the way that the workplace is, is operated and they're trying to make our people poorer than they've ever been in modern times. So our call to the trade union movement, to the Labour Party and to every progressive politician is get behind the unions, get behind the workers, get on the picket lines, support the unions, support the strikes and let's deliver change for our people. Let's win all of these disputes and change this country for the better. Thanks very much.